Hi guys, in this lesson we're given a fractional equation to solve and the variable that we're solving for is p. Now let me just rewrite this in another way. This could be expressed as 458 and that's equal to 400 plus 5p plus 8 over 10. Okay. Now, when given a fractional equation, uh, a very easy method of solving uh, this equation is that we can change everything into a fraction, or LCD. And remember, please, our LCD means the lowest common denominator. So in approaching this, I could say this is 5p five, five over 1, this is 400 over 1, and this is 4 58 over 1. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put all of this in a bracket, okay? I'm just going to bracket that and I'm going to get rid of my fraction here so that I have a simple linear to work with. Now let's get rid of the, the fraction so, <coughs> so that we can calculate the value of p. Or LCD, the lowest number that all of my denominators can go into without leaving a remainder is 10, okay? So I'm going to say 1 into 10 goes 10 times, and 10 times 458 will give me 4,580, and that is equal to 4, 000, 1, 1 into 10 goes 10 times, and 10 times 400 will give me 4,000, okay? Now, if you notice what I'm doing, I have a positive sign here, so I'm going to put back that. And I'm again, I'm saying 1 into 10 goes <coughs> 10 times, and 10 times 5p will give me 10 fives, 50p, okay? So I have a 50p, and here now I would have 10 into 10 goes 1 time, and 1 times 8 is 8. So all I did was to divide through by my lowest common denominator, all right? just to get rid of all of my fractions, right? Now, cool, I have, if you notice now, I, I've gotten rid of the fraction, so I can just simply go ahead and calculate. 4,000, I'm going to group my like terms in algebra. We always group our like terms. So here I have a 4,580, 4, and that's equal to 400 plus 8. I'm grouping my numbers. So 4,000, this 4,000 here, plus this 8, if you look carefully, these two terms are numbers, so I can group them, they're alike. So I would get 4,008 plus 50p, okay? Now, when transposing, all you're doing, you're looking at what the number or what the term is doing to the variable, okay? And you're going to do the opposite of that. Now, since this 4,008 is being added to, to 50p, then I will have to do the opposite of addition to take it across. Because really, when transpose, you are taking all the numbers to one side and you are leaving the variable on one side of the equation. So all the numbers are going to move to, for example, the left-hand side, and then I'm going to leave the variable alone. You call it isolation of the variable, all right? You're going to leave the variable alone on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead. Now, since 4008 was being added to 50p, now I need to do the opposite of addition, which is to subtract 4,008 from both sides because remember it's an equation we're working with so what is done to one side of the equation must be done to the other side of the equation so here I have subtracted a 4,008 and that is equal to 4,008 and now since I had subtracted it from that side I must do it also to this side so I'm subtracting a 4,008 plus 50p. So essentially what we're left with here, we have 4,580 being minus 4,008. So now I know that, well, this looks like it would work out to be 572. So here I have a 572. And that is equal to, well, a positive 408 will cancel out with a negative. So I'm left with... 
yes so really what I'm left with here is 50p so I took down my 50p now I need to move the 50 after I've moved this number here now I need to move the 50 because remember we're moving all of the numbers to this side leaving our variable on this side so essentially what I have left here now I have 50 being multiplied to p so I have to do the opposite of multiplication which is division to move my 50 across here so let's divide through by 50 so what I do to one side I must do to the other side so 50 will cancel 50 okay so now let me just pull this up a bit so that we have a little more space to work with well if you look carefully here um, my f when I divide through by 50 I could say let me just change this for a minute yes I could say now 50 into 50 into 572 and we could break this down pretty easily and let me do that for you we could say now 50 into a hundred goes two times but if you notice I have a 500 here so 50 into 500 would go 10 times I get 10 sets of 50s out of 500 but if you notice here I have a 72 right here let me just change my color a bit okay I have this 72 and 50 into 500 goes 10 plus I can say now 50 into 72 I can get one set of 50 out of that so I would have 11 sets of 50 that I can get out of 572 and 50 from 72 would leave me with a 22 over 50 okay 50 would cancel 50 there so I would be left with P but if we look at this carefully it can be reduced even lower as a fraction so I could say 2 into 22 goes 11 times and 2 into 50 goes 25 times so therefore our answer is in its lowest term so in its lowest term I would have P is equal to 11 and let me just write this 11 a little bit bigger to show that this is the whole number 11 over 25 so the value of p is 11 and 11 over 25 and all I did was to reduce my improper fr fraction to a mixed number and if you note here I had the p on the right hand side and I had my 11 and 11 over 25 on the left hand side I just really turn it around because it's a custom or the way in which we usually read it we usually read the variable first okay and yes it's that it's 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 that easy any questions though feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Bye-bye.